Hey fam, Sarah here. Welcome back to our channel. Tonight I'm gonna meal prep for some dinners for the next few weeks because you guys know that I just hit the six week mark postpartum wise and your girl has got to start eating a little bit better, at least when it comes to supper. One thing that I'm doing is I'm breastfeeding guys and so with that I have to make sure that I have food on on hand and I'm able to eat really well and because the baby is still so young I'm not always able to just jump in the kitchen and cook something every to every single day but I have been doing so so I want to go ahead and prepare some meals that myself as well as my family can um, we can just heat up and have to go on any given night because it's just you know con it's convenient that way One of the things I'm starting off with is chicken breast and I'm already over here I'm separating separating it up into different meal ideas so this package consists of about 10 chicken breasts and I'm gonna go ahead and ration up like the way we're gonna eat them they're not gonna we're not eating like full-size chicken breasts I want to make chicken salad with one I'm gonna make like, curry chicken breasts chopped up for the other and then I'm still trying to <laughs> think in my head what the other is gonna be and then over here we've got ground beef um i am trying to ration this into two packages and then i'm gonna try to divide it into about four three din i think three dinner ideas because it is a lot of beef but we are a large family so. so i don't think that this can ration three times i don't know we'll see depends on how much meat you, you eat <laughs> So guys, I've already got my chicken in here, the one that I'm going to curry. I've got this one going, this is just chicken breast. And over here I've got my ground beef which is just about to get started. You hey guys, so I decided to make one pot curry like I said. Um, I added a whole bunch of seasoning but this isn't actually curry. Instead of using curry, I used ground turmeric and my mom got me on this because it tastes very similar. I'm not certain how this turmeric is going to turn out because I've never used it to make a pot of curry before. The one that I usually make is the Jamaican curry. And this is not going to be the same recipe as everyone else's. This is just meal prepping, um, you know, according to my own style and taste also because I don't like to use a ton of salt I have to use a lot of different um, seasonings to at least get flavor and chicken breast is not ideal for necessarily making curry but it is what I'm using right now <laughs> it's expensive curry typically when you're making curry you want to use like, meats that have bone in them because that's you know the bone and the marrow and all that stuff adds flavor to the meat but this is what I'm going to make. Over here I just got these chicken breasts going. I'm just going to fry these and package them up. I showed you guys that I did have the ground beef going. So I decided last minute to get the ground beef going. I think what's in the crock pot is going to serve two days. And every time when I need to make crock pot, me crock pot meals, I, end I never buy the bag. So it makes the crock pot like extra hard to clean up. It's so frustrating. I also want to point out that I have the other half rationed out and in the freezer. And on the day when I want to cook that, I'll just like thaw it out and prepare meals from that. So I've got these meals going at the same time. And now it's really about trying to figure out what I want to pair with it. So I think for the curry, we're just going to do the basic rice. And on the day of when we're going to make that, probably tomorrow, I'll just have one of the girls. <laughs> I'll just have one of the girls put rice in the rice cooker. That'll take 20 minutes. The meat will already be done. So I'm making the chicken breast on this. I'm making the chicken breast and I'm not sure what I'm going to pair with it yet. Everyone had said like fajitas or some kind of a wrap. So I'm probably just going to make it and then it'll be sliced up. Uh, put inside the freezer and then when we want to make it we just like put it in the oven to just kind of heat <laughs>
you guys so I finally discovered what I was making I wasn't quite sure what I was gonna make with the other portion of the chicken but guess what I basically kind of made a little well it's not brown sweet chicken but just brown pan fried chicken um, we're gonna end up having this I think with rice we're gonna eat something right now and I guess the family will get to decide what they want to eat from but we're gonna pack the rest up and this is basically going to cook while we are just chilling for the evening because it's going to take several hours. The beauty about meal prepping is that you just like knock all the meals out in one week. Um, my girl Sarah from Our Tribe of Many, she does it all the time. And we're just, we're not that big on like meal prepping all the time. But I do find that it's helpful, especially now that... I have a little one it's not easy to be in the kitchen all the time so it just works out to be able to um, have something in the you know in the kitchen available at all times especially for myself because I need to eat in order to keep my milk supply up one of the hardest things for me especially with having to watch sodium in my diet is that I can't just grab anything from the cupboards I really have to be mindful of what I'm choosing and in the midst of doing so I don't always have like a huge selection I don't always have like enough hearty foods you know you could grab an apple here and grab certain things here but it's not enough especially when you're feeding a, a tiny human who loves to eat so this meal prepping will definitely be helpful in that regard as well Guys, so I did go ahead and prepare one of my starches, which is sweet potato. So I decided to make a quick little salad. I don't have croutons. I could have made a Caesar salad like we have made in the past, but I didn't have any salad. So we're gonna go for dinner tonight. I'm gonna be serving the rice with the curry chicken, as well as this. We'll pack away this chicken, whatever's, and whatever's left over of that, along with the sweet potato. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 